everybody, it's me, GrowingCuber17, and the next math competition that's coming up is Math Kangaroo. So, I'm going to tell you some information about this competition, and we are going to look at some questions for grade 5 and 6. Now we're going to be looking at the history of Math Kangaroo. In the 1980s, a mathematician named Mr. Peter from Australia started a math competition that was open to anyone who wanted to participate. In the 1990s, it spread through Europe and it was called Kangaroo because it was it started in Australia. In 1998, Mrs. Maria started the Math Kangaroo competition in Chicago. Later in 2003, she formed the not-to-profit charity organization Math Kangaroo USA, NFP along with two other people. Okay, the first question, which figure has one half of its area shaded? So, A has three parts and one part of the three is shaded, so it'd be one over three or one third, so that's not a half. B has two parts and one of the two parts is shaded, that's one half. So our answer would be B. The next question, my umbrella has kangaroo written on top. It is shown in the picture to the right. Which of the pictures below does not show my umbrella? So, the very first one, it goes A, N, and then G. And if you look on the side, it has A, N, G. And the second one is O, O, K. O, O, K. G, A, R. G, A, R. And then N, G, A. N, G, A. And then ARO and ARO. So all of them are placed in the right order. Now we have to look at which, if there any of them are backwards or upside down. So let's look with A. So A, the A is right, the N is right, and the G is right. Let's look at B. The O and the O and the K are all right. And now if we look at C, the G is right, the A is right, but the R is backwards. Because the R should have the bend towards the left, but this one has it towards the right. So our answer would be C. The next question is, Sam painted the nine squares as shown in the figure to the right using the colors black, white, and gray. At least how many squares does he need to repaint so that no two squares with the common side are the same color? So. These two pieces are the same, so if I change this piece right here to black, now all, all these six, first six are all fixed. And I can change one of these two black pieces right here to gray, and that would make the last three fixed. So it would be two changes, so our answer is A. Okay, so the next question. There are 10 ducks. Five of the ducks lay an egg every day. The other five lay an egg every other day. How many eggs do, do the 10 ducks lay in the period of 10 days? So if we're looking at the first five that lay an egg every day, one of the five ducks can lay 10 eggs in the period of 10 days. So we multiply that by five and we get 50. For the first five and then the other five is every other day so we would just divide the 50 that we had before by 2 and we will get the amount that the other five get which is 25 and then we add 15 25 and we get 75 which is a so our answer is a so the next question the figure to the right show the board where each small square has an area of four centimeters squared what is the length of the thick black line? So, if one of the squares is 4 centimeters squared, that means we have to have, and it's a square, so the both sides have to be the same, we have to do the square root of 4, which would be 2. And, because that means one, one line would equal 2. And, we have to count how many of those one lines are in the black 
line. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine. And then we do nine times two, which is 18. So our answer is B, 18. So the next question, which of the following improper fractions is smaller than two? So let's look at the first one. 19 divided by eight is two remainder three. So that's more than two. Now 20 divided by nine is two remainder two. C, 21 divided by 10 is two remainder one. That's still more. D, 22 divided by 11 is two. So, but it's not smaller than it. And E, 23 divided by 11 is one remainder 11. And that's less than two, so our answer is E. Question seven. A pumpkin and a watermelon together weigh eight kg. The watermelon is two kg lighter than the pumpkin. How much does the pumpkin weigh? So they gave us from 2 kg to 6 kg options. So if the watermelon is 2 kg lighter, we can just subtract 2 from the pumpkin that to give answers for, and we add the answer that we got after we subtracted it with the answer that they gave us, and we have to get 8. So if we subtract 2 from 2 kg, we get 0 plus 2, which is 2. For B, we will get 1 plus 3, and it's only 4. Then for C, we get 4 minus 2, which is 2, then 2 plus 4 is 6, so that won't work. 5 would be 3 plus 5, which is 8. So our answer would be D. So the next question, each plant in John's garden has either five leaves only or two leaves and one flower. In total, the plants have six flowers and 32 leaves. How many plants are there? So if it's six flowers, we would need six flowers, so that would get canceled out. And then because there's two leaves and one flower, we would do six times two, which is 12. And we would do 32 minus 12, and that would get 20. And then we can do the rest with the five leaves only, and 20 divided by five is four, and we can do six plus four and get 10. So our answer would be A, 10. Papa has four paper strips of the same length. She glues two of them together with a 10 centimeter overlap and gets a 50 centimeter long strip. So with the other, two paper strips, she wants to make a 56 centimeter long strip. How long should the, the overlap be? So what we can do for this question is, if it says a 10 centimeter overlap, that would be only 10 centimeters in the meter in the middle. So, and she said it was a total of 50 centimeters that strip. So we can do 50 minus 10 and get 40. And because it was two strips, we can divide that by two and get 20 and we will get that it's the rest of it on both sides is 20 and because we have to add the 10 that was overlapping we would get a strip is 30 30 centimeters long and now if we go to the second part of the question which is how much the overlap has to be to make it 56 centimeters long if we add 30 and 30 for the two strips left over we will get 60 and subtract that by 56, we will get 4. And that will be a 4 centimeter overlap, so our answer is A. Tom uses 6 squares with the side length of 1 to form the shape shown in the picture. What is the perimeter of the shape? So it's 3 on the bottom, 3 on the both sides, and 1 on the top. So it would be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1. That would get you 10. So our answer is B, 10.